I have my extensions in. They still don't perfectly match my hair yet, obviously, but I really wanted to play with them and wear them today. So they don't 100% match, but they're getting there. Like if I, like they're still at red in my hair, so it's still a little tinted. But look how pretty and long this makes my hair. I'm just like, oh, okay, this is fun. Hi, Brianna. So I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> so they don't match yet but I'm still in the process of going back to blonde, so hopefully these will match perfectly very soon. Um, but in the meantime, I just really wanted to mess around with them. Um, so we are gonna talk about the Beloved palette. Um, the Beloved palette is going, 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 going to be sold out this weekend. I can guarantee it. It will be sold out this weekend. Um, so if you haven't gotten it yet, you guys need to get it. It's amazing. It's such pretty, pretty colors. Such pretty, pretty colors. So we are going to start playing around with that, obviously. Um, so we're gonna start with our Glorious Face Primer. Uh, but yeah, so this palette, it's only exclusive to this month. So once it is gone, it is gone. Gone. Hi, Nicole. So, Glorious Face Primer first. But I believe it is currently 90% sold out. 90%, 90%, 90 sold out. Like, holy guacamole, no joke, no joke. Um, So if you really like this, you gotta get it soon. Let me actually like put my link in the comments here. I haven't done that. Lana, pretty and pink at, nope, 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 at dot com, not at, <laughs> dot com, send. Let me pin that. Will it let me pin it? Come on, pin, pin, pin. All right, it's not letting me pin it, it's fine. Um, ooh, but it's letting me refocus, hello. All right, so next up we are going to do our eye primer, which is very important for creating a nice full effect with your eye makeup. If you want your eye makeup to blend nicer, um, if you want it to have better color, very important. So this one is on its way out soon. Thank goodness, thank goodness, thank goodness. It is like middle of the afternoon on a Saturday. I'm bored. <laughs> um, so we booked our flights. We are going to Wisconsin in March, which I'm super excited about. We are going to go meet my niece. Um, for those of you who have been following along, my brother came out of the woodwork saying he has a four-year-old kid. Uh, so we have, I haven't met her yet, but we are meeting her for the first time, um, in March. My brother has met her. We have not. Um, we've just video chatted with her. So that's the extent of our, uh, conversations with her, but she's freaking adorable. So I cannot wait. All right. <laughs> so we are going to start off with, <coughs> excuse me. Um, we're going to do, what do I want to do? Do I want to do liquid? Do I want to do BB? I'm not sure. Um, let's do... Let's do, kind of want to do some BB. So we're going to do some BB. All right, so we're going to do our combination of BB cream and um, concealer. Hi, Jenny. Um, to play around with that. So we're going to use concealer first. We're going to put that there. Oh, I can't wait to clean all these babies. I just got shampoo for them. Um, you use baby shampoo. That helps a lot with... Um, cleaning your brushes. So we're using the concealer first. I like squeeze in the middle of my tubes, which you're not supposed to do, but I do it. So that makes everything so uneven. Okay, doodling all in there. All right, so now we're gonna use a dampened beauty blender. And we're going to blend this all out before we apply the, um, hi Nancy, the uh, BB cream. So, this is concealer. And I'm going to do half my face again to show you guys the coverage. The awesome coverage. Hi Star. So I'm doing half of my face to show off the coverage you get with the concealer before I go into the BB cream. <clears throat> so 
This concealer is amazing. It feels so light. It's not sticky. It's not tacky. It's not irritating in any way. <clears throat> so you guys can see beautiful coverage on this side of my face. Um, nice full coverage. Other side, red, splotchy, nothing really covering anything yet. So you guys can see the huge difference already. So we're going to start moving over to this side and working in this so yeah, it's like a Saturday afternoon. I'm bored out of my mind, um, getting work done, but I'm also like, excuse me, I did all of my cooking for the week already today. I was starving earlier, and I was like, all right, let's get all of this cooking done that I need to get done. I went grocery shopping, bought so many vegetables, so there's still a bunch of stuff I gotta do, but I was like, all right, I made like quite a few things, so I'm like, all right, we're gonna take a break. And then we booked our flights to Wisconsin. So excited. All right, so now that that is blended in, so we have our nice coverage. Now we're gonna use the BB Flawless in cream and we're gonna blend that in over top of it. So cream is the lightest color for BB. Um, you can combine it with a color if you feel like it's too light. That's why I use the Organza Concealer. I should have told you guys that. I use the Organza Concealer to, um, it's a little darker. So at least that'll help, um, keep the cream color lighter. And I'm not liking this beauty sponge for this. Nope, 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 nope. We're just going to go back to this one. So I'm doing the, con uh, BB now. Hi, Jen. Splotching that all in. So I like using the BB cream a lot in the summer and in the winter. I like using it in the summer. Hi, Jenna. Um, because, so in the summer, it's a light coverage, so you don't need a lot of it. Um, but it still gives you like just that little bit of color, cover up just that little bit of amount. Um, and then in the winter, it's very hydrating. So mixing it with the concealer really gives you a nice soft supple look. Whereas, um, some of our other products may dry out your skin just because it's dry skin season. So that's just a matter of if it's going to dry out your skin or not. All right, so now we have all of that on. I'm going to toss my long hair behind my back. It's so weird. I know. So the extensions don't match for those of you tuning out, tuning in. But once my hair starts going full back to blonde, these will match better. But I'm just like, I have to wear them. I just need to play with them today. I just need to. So I was like, I, ha I have to wear them. Why is this focusing weird? Uh, I feel like it's going to be one of those where I'm like, hi, I have to be all up in the camera today. All right, so let me do my eyebrows first. Um, I'm noticing when I do my eyebrows first, my makeup turns out much better, my eye makeup. So I'm using my brow pencil. Um, my microblading is going to be touched up in a few weeks, so then it'll be much more prominent. You guys can see the color faded. It said it would fade. So um, the girl who did it, she said that they would fade. So I was like, all right, so I was already prepared for it. But that's how much it faded. And then when I go for my touch-up, then it'll be all there again. Alright, so I'm using Brow Artist Pencil in light because my eyebrows are light. And just doing short little hair-like strokes to fill them in. And what's nice about having them microbladed is I now know where to go with them much more instead of guessing. Because you can see the indentation. Like there's something in my eye. 
Well, not the indentation, the scarring from it. Oh, gotta tuck that away. Tuck my hair away. So short little hair like strokes filling this in. So now we have nice shaped eyebrows. It could be a little darker, but that's okay. We're just going to leave it because I feel like if I go too dark, then I'm going to go too dark. We don't want to go too dark. We want to go just right. I feel like there's something in my eye. There's something in my eye! Alright, whatever. All right, so um, so now we're gonna move on to the beloved palette, the best. All right, so I have an idea in my head. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna try it. So we'll see how this goes today. Ooh, ooh, we'll see how this goes. All right, so we are going to start off with cleaning a brush. All right, so let me just take one of these brushes. I just gotta clean it off using the um, great brush cleaner we have. I really hope they come back with this. They kind of, they hinted that they weren't, but you never know. Sometimes they're like, oh, we're not coming back with it. We're not coming back with it. And all of a sudden it's like all over the place. So you never know. You never know. You never, never know. All right. So we're going to do adored first. I want to go, I don't know if I want to go like full on dark with this color or with this palette today, but <clears throat> We shall see. These are my Harry Potter brushes. Harry Potter, my best friend got them for me, I love them. So they were my Christmas present. Actually, I think we're gonna do a light look today. We're gonna do a light look. So this is adored, going all over, up past the crease just a little bit, and I'm going in that circular motion blending again that I've talked about. Circular motion blending, um, what it really does is it helps distribute the color better. It makes it less streaky, and it really helps blend the colors together when you get to that stage. I'm trying to decide too what the lip bon bond to wear. Maybe I'll do a lipstick instead. So super pretty pink color. I love this color. I love this palette. Oh, I want more of them. Like, it's such a pretty color and a pretty palette. All right, so next up we are going to, which one do we want to do next? So I'm trying to keep this a nice, simple, pretty, like, light look today. Um, I always go dark, and I'm like, let's do not dark. <laughs> let's go light today. Because there's some people who I know want to wear I make up, but they're not sure how because it really does. It's a big difference. All right, so we're going to take Alluring a little bit and tapping it off, and it's on the free crease shadow brush you get with this bundle. Going into the crease. And on the outer V of the eye a little bit. And I'm tap using, applying very little pressure. And I'm going under the eye. So again, taking Alluring. 
very lightly going into the crease. And blending it out. So again, nice, light, pretty colors. This is going to be come in so much handy for spring. Just so you know, a lot of handy for spring actually. me. Excuse me. I'm drinking seltzer. You guys know I love my seltzer. All right, then we're going to take this blending brush and I'm just going to kind of go over everything once more. Make sure it's blending nicely. Hi Alicia! Alright, so now that that's blended nicely, we are now going to take Unwavering. And we're going to take that. I've already put a huge dent in Unwavering. And I'm putting that right underneath my brow bone. Okay. And it is the gorgeous shimmery color that comes in this. It's like this... I can't even describe it. It's just so pretty. This palette is going to sell out though this weekend, I swear. But what I love about it is it's so versatile. I've actually used Unwavering as a highlighter um, and on my lips and everything. So it's very versatile. It's going to look great when spring colors start coming around. It's going to look so, so pretty. Especially um, a lot of denim is coming into play. Pink and denim to me is a really nice combination, in my opinion. So... I'm really looking forward to that. All right, and then I'm going to take Unwavering again, okay? And I'm going to go, and I'm using my Harry Potter. This one's, like, really heavy on the end. Um, so I'm loading it up on Unwavering. And going on the inner corner and blending out. And adding, oop. A little bit more highlight in the center here. Like so. Ah! This is a little hard to like twist around this brush. Add a little bit more in the center there. And I'm like packing it on. I'm not swiping, I'm packing it. That's so pretty! Yay! Sorry. It's so pretty, this palette is just so pretty. I can't get over it. It blows my mind. Hi, Stephanie. It's just such a nice, simple, you know, you can really go ultra dark or ultra light with this and it's beautiful. Hi Cassie. All right, so again, I'm just doing one more once through. Making sure colors are transitioning as they should be. All right, so then I'm going to use just Epic mascara today, keeping it nice and simple, um like the rest of this makeup look. So we're going to just use Epic mascara. And I love this mascara. Lengthens, it curls. It's a great one-step mascara. It's awesome for any teachers, um, anyone who is a nurse, moms on the go. 
and you can combine it with the 3D for an extra ba bam on your lashes. I'm just going to hit the other eye and this one again, one more on the top. Just to give a little extra. This is such a great go-to mascara. So we have that applied and then next up we're going to do just a smidge of contouring. I'm not going super big so I am going to use Beachfront Bronzer in this case. Um, but I think I want to use this brush. Alright, so we're going to use this one. I'm running out. This is um, Hermosa which is one of my favorite shades. It's the middle shade um, and this is a great... Um, Bronzers are really nice to use for contouring. Um, the reason why is it's light, it's easy to manipulate to get to the contour shape you want. So I'm going to show you um, one half of my face contoured and one not. Okay, that's like really dark there. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. So this is my face contoured on this side. You guys can see that my cheekbone my jawline, everything is much more fluid, and this is not. So it's a little more plain, a little less drama. So we are going to fix that. Fix that. Now when I like, so I'm using a blusher brush, which is an angled brush. Hi Tiffany. Um, so what I like to do is, and I'll show you guys when I'm done, throwing color up on my face. So that's a little, nice little cute line going on there. Oh, I got to do my nose. I did my nose. Okay. So I like to take a nice big brush and just kind of once over everything again. Make sure everything is blended just right. So now that that is done, next up, um, we're going to do our lipstick color, but I'm still undecided on what lipstick color I want to do. I think I'm going to go with a splash. Or maybe, wait, let me see what I got. Let me see what I got. Kiri Kelly! What's up, girl? Not that color. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Sitting pretty. Could do that one. So many lipsticks. So many lipsticks to choose from. Hi, Jenna. Let's do Affluent. As you guys can see, this is mine. It's like on its way out. So we're going to do the color Affluent. This is a really nice, good nude. Um, I get requests a lot for a pink lipstick that's not pink, but it's kind of nude. This is a really good one for that. That's actually not at all how I thought that was going to look. I forgot. Um, so we're going to take some lip sparkle. Because why not? You're going to use the lip sparkle. Which you can get this month for free if your party gets to 350 body points. I have some girls who are so close to getting it. This was a limited edition item. Only available for one day. And they have brought it back for this month. I've used it on eyes. I've used it on my cheeks. That's 
That's better. That's a better color now. Oh, pow. All right, so, and then let's do a little brush, blush, blush. We're gonna do, not supported. Ooh, ooh. What color are you? Oh, you're like that bright color. All right, so we're gonna do spirited, this color here. This is one of those colors you only wanna use a little bit of, otherwise you're gonna be like, what the hell? So. I'm talking like I'm literally smacking my brush on here, smacking off excess. And see that little bit? That was enough. So I'm like tapping this. This is a very deep blush. And still tapping off excess. So I'm still going to have to like use a um, highlighter now. I love the color, it is really pretty. Just for me, someone who doesn't wear a lot of blush lately, or ever, I really shouldn't, shouldn't say lately, like ever, it gets a little too much for me. Ooh, we're gonna use uh, Unwavering. Let's use Unwavering. All right, so we're gonna use Unwavering as our highlight. There we go, oh yeah! That looks beautiful. On the nose that little bit. Perfect. And again, I'm just gonna hit this with one big fluffy brush to make sure it's all how I want it to be. And that is it. So that is our look. Um, this palette is going, going, going. We'll be gone soon. Hi, Casey. Um, so be sure you get it before it is gone. Look how pretty these colors are. It is so pretty, so subtle, so just romantic. You can make it look edgy. You can do a lot to it. All right, guys, I got to go. Um, going upstairs, and I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I greatly appreciate it. This will be uploaded to YouTube later today, so please watch the replay on that if you haven't. All right.